Scumma is a benign granulomatous lesion that occurs in tertiary syphilis. These used to be quite common, but these days, due to treatment of syphilis in an early stage, Gummas or Gummata are very rare. They are nodular lesions and may be due to a hypersensitivity reaction to the organism that causes syphilis, that is Treponema pallidum. Gummas may be single or multiple. It forms a tumour-like mass that may be microscopic in size or anything between 2 and 10 centimetres across and grossly it has a rubbery grey-white cut surface. And here is a gumma that has arisen in the liver. And that is the well-circumscribed whitish mass. Gummas arise in all sorts of sites including the bones, mucocutaneous tissues such as the tongue, skin, liver, heart, testis and brain. Histologically a gumma is a granulomatous lesion showing coagulative necrosis at the centre surrounded by a fibrous wall and within the fibrous wall there is endarteritis and infiltrate of macrophages, epithelioid cells, lymphocytes, plasma cells, Langhans giant cells and fibroblasts. Here is a gumma affecting the heart and it is in the myocardium and the dark red area at the centre of the gumma is an area of coagulative necrosis and the coagulative necrosis is surrounded by a fibrous wall containing fibroblasts, plasma cells, lymphocytes, epithelioid cells, macrophages. And here is a gumma of the testis. Again there is a centre of coagulative necrosis and in the wall of the gumma there is a particularly florid infiltrate of lymphocytes and plasma cells with a sprinkling of eosinophil polymorphs. Here is another area of the gumma and at the centre of the picture is a small artery that you can see is occluded by fibrous tissues with only a tiny bit of lumen left. This is endarteritis obliterans, also known as obliterative endarteritis. One final note, in contrast to primary and secondary syphilis, spirochetes are not usually visible in tertiary syphilis.